Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to complete the square for this problem when I have y equals x squared minus x minus 5. And this one's going to get a little bit uh, trickier because what we're going to notice is our b um, is not an even number that we can divide by 2. So we're going to end up having a fraction, which is cool. I just want to take you, we'll take you through it. So the first thing we're going to solve by completing the square. So if you remember, we're going to want to find the values of x that are going to make this equation true when our output value is equal to 0. And then we want to make sure we convert it from our standard to our vertex form. So therefore, I need to follow the process of taking my b, dividing it by 2, and squaring it. Well, in this case, I have a negative 1 divided by 2. And then I need to square that. Well, negative 1 divided by 2 is now going to be a positive 1 fourth. Now we need to make sure we add that onto both sides. So I'm going to add 1 fourth onto both sides. So 1 fourth plus 0 is just going to be 1 fourth equals x squared minus x plus 1 fourth minus 5. All right. Now, remember what we were talking about when we were looking at our perfect square trinomial. Um, this is creating a b divided by 2 squared gives us this term. So if I want to factor this out, um, or I want to factor this, a lot of times you know you could use your diamond or the square, all these different for, uh, processes that we've used before. But what we're going to use is I'm just going to kind of let you know of a very simple thing that we can have. When we know that we have a b divided by 2 squared, it's really x divided by plus or minus b divided by 2 squared. That's going to be the factored form of a perfect square trinomial, especially when we go and create it. To create our perfect square c, we took b divided by 2 squared it. So the factored form is x plus or minus b over 2. Now why is it plus or minus? Well, if my middle term is positive, I'm going to use the positive factor. If it's negative, I'm going to use the negative factor, which in this case, we have a negative 1. So therefore, this is going to be x minus b divided by 2. Well, b divided by 2 is, um, is going to be d negative 1 divided by 2. So we'll have is 1 fourth equals, let's see, x minus. Oh, I forgot to divide it by 2. One, no, it's 1 divided by 2. OK, no, I got it. OK, there we go. And let's just double check to make sure that works. Negative 1 half times negative 1 half does give you both positive 4, positive 1 fourth. Negative 1 half plus negative 1 half gives us a negative 1. All right, we're good to go. Now we need to solve this. So we need to use our inverse operations to isolate our value x. So I'm going to add a 5 to the other side. All right, now we have to add a fraction to a integer. Well, to do that, I need to make sure I make this as a denominator with 1. And then I need to have common denominators. So I'm going to multiply by 4 over 4, which therefore that's going to give me 1 plus 20 with the same denominator as 4, which equals 21 over 4. So therefore, I have 21 over 4 is equal to x minus 1 half squared. Now I need to undo the squaring. So I'm going to undo squaring by taking the square root of both sides. Well, the square root of something squared, those are going to be inverse operations, so they'll undo each other. Over here, remember, you can break apart the square root of 21 over 4. Make sure we also include that's a plus or minus. And that's going to equal the square root of 21 over the square root of 4 which we know is square root of 21 over 2. Now, we can't simplify the square root of 21, um, so we'll just leave it as that. However, we will have plus or minus the square root of 21 over the square root of 4, which is 2, equals x minus 1 half. Now, I add the 1 half to the other side. And therefore, my final answer is going to be x equals 1 half plus or minus the square root of 21 over 2. And then we can combine these into one single quantity as represented x equals 1 plus the square root of 21 plus or minus over square root of 1 divided by 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve um, by completing the square when dealing with some fractions. Thanks.